Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Join us for the prayer to Jesus, the Divine Word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, Divine Word made flesh, from the beginning, you already were. Before even time began, you are Son, and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself through god the holy spirit and mary you became jesus divine word made flesh you came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here so we may live and love here after dear jesus divine word incarnate please teach us to follow you may our love for you always be made flesh not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and the Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name, we pray now, always and in always. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings of peace and joy to all of you sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, in Christ the King Mission Seminary. We are on the second week of Lent, Thursday. Our Mass presider for today is Reverend Father Louis Ponzalan SVD. Our Eucharistic celebration will now begin. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be always with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel reading for today is one of the loveliest parables of Jesus, the parable of the rich man and Lazarus. In the story, it says, Good things come to you and bad things to Lazarus. Now he is comforted while you are in agony. Let us ask ourselves whether or not there is a Lazarus in our life. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. 
Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who delight in innocence and restore it, direct the hearts of your servants to yourself, that caught up in the fire of the Spirit, we may be found steadfast in faith and effective in works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, Cursed is the man who trusts in human beings, who seeks his strength in flesh, whose heart turns away from the Lord. He is like a barren bush in the desert that enjoys no change of season, but stands in a lava waste, a salt and empty earth. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose hope is the Lord. He is like a tree planted beside the waters that stretches out its roots to the stream. It fears not the heat when it comes, its leaves stay green. In the year of drought it shows no distress, but still bears fruit. More tortuous than all else is the human heart, beyond remedy, who can understand it? I, the Lord, alone probe the mind and test the heart, to reward everyone according to his ways, according to the merit of his deeds. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so, the wicked not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. We all rise to honor the Holy Gospel. And with your spirit. A reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, There was a rich man who dressed in purple garments and fine linen and dined sumptuously each day. And lying at his door was a poor man named Lazarus covered with sores who would gladly have eaten his fill of the scraps that fell from the rich man's table. Dogs even used to come and lick his sores. When the poor man died, he was carried away by angels to the bosom of Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried. And from the netherworld where he was in torment, he raised his eyes and saw Abraham far off, and Lazarus at his side. And he cried out, Father Abraham, have pity on me. 
sent Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. I am suffering torment in these flames. Abraham replied, My child, remember that you receive what was good during your lifetime, while Lazarus likewise received what was bad. But now he is comforted here, whereas you are tormented. Moreover, between us and you there is a great divide to prevent anyone from crossing who might wish to go from our side to your side and from your side to our side. And then he said, I beg you, Father Abraham, send him to my father's house. I still have five brothers so that he may warn them lest they too come to this place of torment. But Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. And then he said, Oh no, Father Abraham, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. And then Abraham said, If they will not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded if someone should rise from the dead. My dear friends in Christ, this is the gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The gospel that we heard is a parable. The parable of the rich man and Lazarus. What are parables? Parables are very ordinary stories. They are common stories. They are earthly stories, but they tell of heavenly realities. A parable is a brief allegory that is used to teach either a religious lesson or a moral lesson. In the Gospels, there are many parables. In the Gospel of St. Mark, there are three parables. In the Gospel of Matthew, there are 16 parables. In the Gospel of Luke, there are 17 parables. And in the Gospel of John, there are three parables. The parable that we heard today is the parable of the rich man and Lazarus, one of the loveliest parables. There are two main characters in this parable. The first character, the rich man, is a symbol of solitary luxury, a symbol of solitary ostentation. The second character, the second figure, Lazarus, is a symbol of solitary poverty or solitary misery. The first character, the rich man, feasts by himself with sumptuous food, while the second character, Lazarus, is dying of hunger. The first character, the rich man, changes his clothes several times a day. But the second character, the poor Lazarus, he does not even own a thread. My dear brothers and sisters, the rich man in the gospel is often called Dives. And the word Dives is the Latin for rich. The poor beggar is called Lazarus. The Greek form of the Hebrew Eleazar, that means the one who trusts in God, or God is my help. That is why the parable may be called the parable of Dives and Lazarus. What is the key to the correct understanding of the parable? Does the parable mean that all rich people are bad and are condemned to go to hell? Does it mean that all poor people are good and are destined to enter heaven? By no means. Some people are materially rich, 
but they are spiritually poor. And there are people who are materially poor, but they are spiritually rich. And similarly, some people are materially and spiritually rich, but there are also people who are materially and spiritually poor. How then should we understand and interpret the parable? What is the key to its correct meaning? My dear brothers and sisters, the parable today is the only parable in which the characters are named or identified. So the name must be significant for interpreting the lesson of the parable. Lazarus is not just a poor man, but he is a poor man who believes and trusts in God. A person may be rich, but he feels he is a Lazarus. A person may be poor, but he feels that he has no need for God. If you feel like a Lazarus now, irrespective of your status in life, if you feel you are battered by sickness, you are battered by infirmity, you may be battered by old age or poverty or isolation or loneliness, you are battered by pain and sickness, you are forgotten by others and by those whom God has blessed in this life. Continue believing. Continue trusting in God, knowing that it will be well with you in the end. But if you see yourself as the one already blessed by God with the good things in life, learn to share what you have with others. My dear brothers and sisters, probably there is a Lazarus lying at your door. And you have not taken notice. Your Lazarus could even be beside you, sitting next to you in church. Your Lazarus can be in your own house, someone you do not mind, someone you ignore, someone you do not talk to, someone you belittle. Do you have a Lazarus whom you continue to disregard in your life? The sin of the rich man is that he ignored Lazarus. He was indifferent to Lazarus. The rich man has selective eyes. He did not notice or chose not to notice Lazarus. That is why the rich man in the parable may refer also to each one of us. And the poor man, Lazarus, could symbolize the person of Jesus who said, Whatsoever you do to the list of my brothers and sisters, you also do unto me. My dear friends in Christ, in the final analysis, we may see not only in thought, not only in word, but also in deed. But there is a fourth and very important way through which we sin. We do not only sin by commission, we also sin by omission. That is why whenever we profess or we confess at the beginning of the Mass, we say, I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done. Sin of commission, and in what I have failed to do, sin of omission. Let us examine our hearts and ask ourselves whether we are guilty of one or both. Amen. As we remember the special needs, especially of the poor, we come before our God who shared His riches with everyone by sending His Son into the world. The response will be, Father of the poor, bless us. 
Father of the poor, bless us. That the church may show forth the compassion of Christ for the poor who are struggling for a more just society. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of the, the poor, poor, bless us. That those who are tempted to become slaves of wealth and material security may realize that spiritual poverty arises from refusing to share with others. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of the poor, poor bless, bless us. That we may all have the grace to show mercy and compassion, generosity, and understanding to those in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of the poor, poor bless us. us. That the sick may be strengthened by the warmth of our Lord's loving presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of the poor, poor bless us. us. That those who have died may share in the happiness and peace of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of the poor, poor bless us. us. That God may also bless the following special intentions by Mila Hines, Bea Camille Martinez, Christian Paolo Lacerna, Agnes Estagle, Pura Alarcon, Rose Vidalion, and the Tanalgo family. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of the poor, bless us. Heavenly Father, in your love and mercy, fill us with the abundance of your generosity. Help us to reach out to the less fortunate. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. By this present sacrifice we pray, O Lord, sanctify our observance of Lent, that what Lenten discipline outwardly declares, it may inwardly bring about through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. It is our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the needy and so help us imitate you in your kindness and so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim
are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread. He gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the chalice to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this every time you remember me. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread all over the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, remember your servants, Gemma Nang, Darlene Madlambayan, Carmen Rodriguez, Rogelio Tam, Betty Tam, Robert Edwin Tam, Rogelio Tam III, Ardi de los Santos, Purita Moreno, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, all the apostles, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With confidence in the love of the Father, let us again pray the Our Father. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our country and peace in our families. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all fear and anxiety as we wait in joy and in hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. You said to the apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace and consolation of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Greet one another with a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the God of the poor, the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sin of the world. Happy are those invited to receive Him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the sacrifice, O God, remain active in its effects and work ever more strongly within us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements.
We invite you to participate in the Stations of the Cross on all Fridays of Lent at 5 p.m. to meditate on the Passion of Christ. This will be followed by the Holy Mass and devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus at 6 p.m. Lent is a time for fasting and works of mercy. We appeal for your continued support for Fast to Feed, Fast Today, Feed a Child of Pondo ng Pinoy, Hapag-asa. Proceeds will, be, will provide nutritious food to children in poor and marginalized communities. For your donations, Fast to Feed envelopes are available at the back of the shrine. You may drop them in the box or forward them to the shrine office. Thank you. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat, lalong-lalo na sa ating mga nakasubaybay at nagapakinig at dumadalo sa ating virtual online mass dito sa Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word dito sa Pilipinas at sa ibang bansa. Uh, nais kong samantalahin ang pagkakataong ito na ibalita. Invite all of you, the faithful, invite the public that on March 31, that is a Friday, uh, between 7 to 8 in the evening, magkakaroon tayo ng isang maigsing online Lenten recollection. March 31, 7 to 8 in the evening. March 31 is a Friday, if I'm not mistaken, and we will have an online Lenten recollection. We are inviting the public and we are also inviting especially the benefactors and the donors and the friends and the families of our seminarians here at Christ the King. I would also like to take this opportunity to appeal for help for our seminarians here at Christ the King. Nasa inyong harapan, pinapakita namin ang aming bank account details at ang iba pang paraan ng pagtulong sa mga seminarista na nagpapari. We have an account with Banco de Oro. The account name is Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc. And the account number is 000-220-191247. Tatanawin naming malaking utang na loob ang anumang halaga ng tulong na inyong maipadadala para sa mga kabataang nagpapari. Mayroon din po tayong dalawang GCAS numbers na nakikita ninyo sa inyong harapan. Maaari rin ninyong gamitin ang mga GCAS numbers na ito sa pagpapadala ng inyong tulong. We promise to pray for you in our mass uh, intentions every day. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong tulong at nais kong pasalamatan ang mga sumusunod sa pagpapadala ng kanilang tulong nitong mga nakaraang araw si Helen Lacerna, Lourdes Repelente, Jane Vallejo, Jane maraming salamat, Kay Eustachio, Josephine Yu, Josephine we are glad to hear from you again after a long while. Maraming salamat sa iyo, Josephine. Henedina Coronado, Fe Garido, Loreto Bermejo, Ana Maria Zafe, Felizardo Hamero Jr., Jun, salamat. Nenita Esmiharda, Zara Larano, Diva Rubis, Elisa Antonio, Maria Cristina Gamboa, um, Robert Patrick Bueno, and uh, Arsenio Co. Virgico. Co. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat kasi lalong-lalo na doon sa mga regular na nagpapadala at tumutulong dito sa atin sa Christ the King. Uh, salamat din ng marami at regards kay Terry Hoxon sa Hong Kong. Terry, you are one of the faithful ones. Maraming salamat sa iyo. We continue to pray for you, Terry. Mila Hines, we pray for you. And uh, congratulations on the baptism of your grandchild. And uh, faithfully sending their help to us. Sana po makilala ko kayo balang araw. Magkalapit lang naman tayo pero hindi ko kayo kilala. Sa Pasig lang kayo. J.T. Lopez Plumbing Services Incorporated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Salamat po sa inyong tulong sa amin dito sa Christ the King. J.T. Lopez Plumbing in Services Incorporated. And to another regular donor of Christ the King, maraming maraming salamat po, Atorni Fe Barin. God bless all of you.
Let us all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.